Hi, it's King T here, and welcome back to another LEGO City update. And there's a few very noticeable things in this update, but I'm super excited to show you all everything that I've been working on. Down here, I've added a lot of minifigures in this open area spot of the downtown. I don't think this setup here is permanent, especially because of this weird road plate. I think that this is going to change eventually, maybe add one more building here, apart from the, the three that are to the side and the one behind. But for now, I have this, this huge battle scene going on. So this is kind of a little bit of an inside joke with my friends, but we really like the Unknown Superheroes by I Am Mobo. I'll put links and hopefully some examples. So in this scene, in the very back, we have Surprise Attack, we have Captain Obvious and his When I Kick You, You Will Be Kicked moment. When I kick you, you will be kicked. Ow! Why not do something more effective? The cop who's in every single video, Biclops, we have the Blue Balls, Iron Man. Uh, I think this is Doctor Stranger who doesn't really have an accessory. Captain Switzerland, and then Flasher. And Chicken Wing Guy is just here, but I really like these videos. The videos are hilarious in my opinion. So I decided it'd be really fun to make a bunch of minifigures based on it. And they're fighting two wielders. So the story behind the wielders is that my friend is writing a book called Wielder, and they're basically just people who get infected with superpowers. So we have one who can jump really high and probably basically flies. And then we have the other one who can shoot fire. Over to the side here we have two kids who I guess are big nerds or something. Then we have a Star Wars kid and a knight guy, I don't even know. But then their dad is saying, no, you can't get involved. <laughs> Star Wars isn't real. And then we have all these people with superpowers. So I thought that was pretty funny. Over here, completely unaware is the construction workers working on the skyscraper. Oh, we have a few a few guys here. I really like this welder guy. I couldn't find any good tools for welding, so I'm using a drill right now, but maybe I'll change that eventually. Then all the way at the top, the highest point where a minifigure is, is the crane operator. Behind that, in the almost complete skyscraper, oh, I wonder who that is. There's my sig fig. The very top floor. He's gonna get a new home, a new spot eventually. So that's pretty cool. This building, I'm gonna be making a more detailed video of this building, what I'm gonna use it for. But there is a minifigure in there right now. I might move her around. And down at the bottom, there's a gardener guy. Now, one of the biggest projects in the LEGO city, the shopping mall is totally tiled off on the outside. The sidewalks are complete. Now, I don't have enough plants for the planters on the edge here, or these bio swalls that I've added. The ones in the front look really good and you can see I wrapped it all the way around I added um, six benches on the outside as well I plan on adding a bike rack at some point the interior does need to be retiled I want to add jumpers to put more minifigures like I've done on the sidewalk out here and then we can also take a look at the minifigures we have camera lady who's gonna be posed taking a picture of the sustainable building when it is done I mean she is taking a picture of it right now but it is probably only halfway done. We have the news reporter reporting on the giant battle that's going on. The cameraman, the police officer, and the chief of the fire department all aiding in the report, saying everything's going to be okay, even though it doesn't look like it when you look over here. Then we have the fire department who showed up and they're gonna try to run in and at least stop the fire from spreading from that guy. Inside the ball, I plan on Re reintroducing the ice cream shop so we have a kid sitting on the bench with a massive ice cream cone. To the side of him we have the the rich kid or the rich guy duo. So they're going into the shopping mall with like three hundred dollars so they're gonna do some shopping. All the way in the back there the two firemen. I'm planning on t starting to tile off this for the sidewalk the fire department or the fire station so they're just they're just there, that's not their permanent home. And then the Minecraft kid, one of the two Minecraft kids, I'm not gonna show you the other one on camera. 
he's all the way back there. He's just, he's just there. On top of the hotel, I've moved the rescue copter because I needed more space for something else. That's definitely not the final home. In front here, we have the, the duo of Microphone Man and the Electric Guitar Guy. Microphone Man was a, a build by my friend who came over for a little bit. We were building some minifigures. That's where a lot of these minifigures originated. So Microphone Man, as well as the, the original Jumping Wielder and some of the Halloween kids are all products of that of that hotel is not changed at all except I actually did rip up the interior of the hotel to make to get parts for the sustainable building I needed all those tiles all right over to this section of the city the motorcycle I don't know who's gonna be riding that yet we'll see then we have the businessmen they're walking to the bank but they didn't know that this the bank was trying to be robbed by the gang so we have a lot of Gang members up at the top here, they're trying to break in. Dynamite guy is throwing his down the chimney bank vault entrance thing. I think this is their leader, probably with a different hat. He's got some valuables, but they're panicking because the cops have shown up. We've got the the wife of the sheriff. Or so it's like a sheriff duo, I think. The other sheriff is somewhere. So they got they caught a few of the guys. Officer there. It's just he's got his handcuffs ready. This guy, um, there's something different that's gonna happen with him. He's not part of the gang. You'll see, you'll see what he's about. The detective is behind them at the assembly square. And I'm gonna add some more details to the assembly square with the minifigures after I retile it. It's gonna give, be given the light gray sidewalks like everywhere else. Those minifigures, I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. Up top we have the cop who apparently has a sniper rifle. He's gonna try to take out one of the, one of the bad guys. We have this cop who's disarmed one of the robbers and the rest of the robbers are up here. The sheriff is trying to rush up the stairs ready to take out some bad guys. This minor tool guy is on top of the assembly square just chilling. I think he might have had something to do with the robbery because he's got tools to help break in but I don't know yet. We'll see. He might just be on his break. Now we move to the last part of the city. The beach has changed quite a bit, actually. First of all, I've rotated the Parisian restaurant, because then I can fit it a lot better. And I've made this cobblestone path that goes all the way down the beach, all the way to the Brook Drawbridge from the restaurant. I've added a uh, nice little wall to kind of separate it out. I think it, I think it looks pretty cool. We've got more tr some trick-or-treaters, so I guess the people in the city think it's Halloween. But it was a good way to use some of the some of the superhero accessories and torsos. Then we have their dad, who's talking on the phone, just picked up his coffee from the coffee shop. The other thing that I've done, you won't be able to notice it on camera that well, but I have ripped up and redone the entire coastline and beach itself to make more efficient use of the plating. I've also added some uh, umbrellas and beach towels. We have, this guy's probably my favorite. He's just sunbathing with his ice cream. He's got the mirror. Sandwich guy is still here, don't you worry. Sandwich guy has not gone anywhere. He's making his sandwiches for the people at the beach. Then we have the guy who's going for a swim. He's got his dog as well. Set up matching umbrella and beach towel. I wanted to use the other more dish-like elements for the umbrellas, but I actually didn't have any. So that's something for another time if I get any colorful variants of those. Now one of the other big changes is I've made a playground for the beach area. I originally did want to have stairs. Unfortunately they were too big and they were going onto the pathway and I couldn't have that. And then if they went the other direction they'd be in front of the slide. So I added a ladder and a fire pole, which I think are good. And then the girl who bought the sandwich in an ice cream cone is just on the playground hanging out, having a good time. The next project is probably going to be the condo building. I have a lot of yellow bricks still, and I know what I'm going to do for the second floor. I think I'm keeping it to two floors. And then one of the only actually complete buildings is the coffee shop and greenhouse. The greenhouse actually doesn't have access right now because I separated this when I rotated the Parisian restaurant, made a separation. So there's no actual access to the greenhouse right now, 
which I think is fine because I've never put any minifigures up there. I might put one in there eventually, but the roof still does come right off. And now you can see my remodeled interior. So I rotated the counter. I know I haven't shown the great, the coffee shop in a long time, but you've still got the same. I've still got the same worker in here, but I've added two, three more people. There's one guy who's drinking his coffee and at the table. The fireman on his way to work, probably unaware of all of the craziness going on in the city, buying his coffee and then a lady in line behind him. But I've rotated the entire counter and kitchen to better fit the space of the coffee shop. And then I've also added a checkerboard with brown and tan tiles and jumpers. I think that tiling looks really nice. And we've come to the last little section where the drawbridge is actually broken right now, so I'm going to redesign this because the actual road piece always breaks off. And then right next to it, there's an empty space. I might either put a big staircase here to allow minifigure access, or I might put a building here. I'm not quite sure. You can let me know in the comments. And then the fishing boat is still here, but I'm going to redo this because it kind of looks bad from this angle, especially with that very, very limited visibility out of the window. So that's going to change. Not part of the city yet, at least. It is down here where I have the rest of the minifigures we've already built. So I've got a racer and his pit crew. Looks like he just won a huge race and got an award and a, a ring here. So I'm going to put them somewhere, probably in front of the hotel or something, marching down the street saying, I won. The horses, I don't know what I'm going to do with. They're probably not going to go in the city, but I just found them in my collection and thought oh they're minifigure related so I'll just put them on the base plate down here and then these guys I have a plan with you'll know you'll recognize a very similar guy from in front of the robbery scene so they have a really really interesting story that I'm gonna put behind them well that's gonna do it for the main Lego City update first update of 2024 if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like and subscribe. Let me know any thoughts or suggestions or comments you have down in the comment section below. And I will see you in the next one. King T out.